team manager Fatayo Lion Cup will be handing Ekerete Ujom the match player of the month award and there uh, he won it after pulling lots of votes by fans two goals for him in the month of march of course uh, the first goal coming against john billiards on match day seven and on match day nine against stationary stores in that lagos derby and so well deserved congratulations to ikari Dome. talking about vfc we move dare to do more as the game is uh, underway already at the soccer temple at gege lagos vfc versus dynamite force the first time these two sides will be locking horns whether in a competitive or a friendly note antonito ko now sends it to edo edo to udom udom to ko uko would move homecoming to meet you on another home <laughs> so to go on a chance now for uh, bfc emma sokoro is brought down in the box and he does not give up that's the spirit of a lion definitely samuel udoho Ido still sends it in looks for Idoho. good control finds amos amos will be hoping to hold on to that one shrugs off his man Oko peace back to nelson udome karate now it's Ipai. Ipai will look for an opening. Sent it back to Ko, who also sends to Dome. Ekpo now. Ekpo would send it in. He knows there's Amos Okoro right there, but couldn't get to it. He was sandwiched. Oloye. Ipaye with a ball. What does he do with it? He tries to rally, and it looks like it's a handball that has occurred right there. We'll take a look at that again and how the young man couldn't help but uh, stretch his hand out. It was off a shot from Ipaye Jr. And it was the captain of the side, Ugu Peace. And the result is a penalty kick right here. And who would go for it? Emos Okoro has to be the man. Referee, whistle and mounts, says it's okay. Osas goes, Okoro goes, and it's a goal, ladies and gentlemen. Wonderful, made in Agege, just like Agege bread. It's uh, Amos Okoro who scores a nicely taken penalty, sending the goalkeeper the wrong way. Slotted it in right there in the far right corner. Udo Treasure had no answer for it. It's 1 0 in favor of the Lions of Niger. Stressless penalty kick there by Amos Okoro. He had no troubles coming in from Treasure Udo for Dynamite for sending the man the wrong way. Two goals now for Amos Okoro, uh, sharing the highest goal scorer so far for the first round for Vandreza. As we, of course, look forward to the end of this game. Two goals alongside Ekerite Udo. Hard work, they say, pays. And that's what has gotten Amos Okoro this particular goal. And Ete Oko gets the better of that. It's a Kra who bits a tackle there, sends it to Michael. Michael knows that Aloya is there. Aloya sends it to the middle. It's stopped. Echo now. Aloya. Aloya is there at the left. What does he do? That's Amos Okoro. That's also Noir Azak. Great shot there. And a wonderful save as well to deny VFC what could be the second goal. Well timed there. Lovely left foot from Noazo Razak. And that surely has that count as a shot on goal. Brought down again right there. And Nete Oko is off the pitch. Been allowed to uh, entry once again. It's Dynamite Fours who are moving forward. But not, a, not no stress at all for Godwin Ekbo just maybe in time for the final action of the game the first 45 minutes that is
Well, second 45 gets underway right here at the Soccer Temple IKG. Welcome to the second installment of the final game for the first half of the NNL 2020-2021 season. That's Amos Okoro finding Ikpaye. Cleared out of danger by the dynamite defense. The thinking is that Alfred Malaki wants a more bite in the attack. And after Akra was given an opportunity, a little collision there. More precision in front of goal uh, from Kola Waledana now that he's come on as a second half substitute. Uh, and that's Amos Okoro. Let's hold on on that analysis. Okoro fires not so strong. Uh, what the Brazilian definitely would have in store. It is uh, Oloye sends it to Ivo right now. Ivo goes to the middle. He's brought down. And it's a right call by the referee. This is what the Brazilian certainly knows how to do. Good with the pace. Good with poor control. And the defenders of the opposing team surely have to be very wary. Or else they would do something like this. My super sub, Sambalistic Sambalicious. <laughs> I would want to call that. Making Mark, Mark immediately gets on the game. You know, he always does that. In all of the games he has come on as a sub, he immediately gets into the game so steadily, so easily. And now is a chance for him from the free kick spot where he knows how to get goals best. All right. And he takes it. He goes almost directly. Ipaye! Referee had already signaled that uh, there was an offside there. So, but the referee has the final say. Final say. Look at that. Very dangerous one there. He paying off for the Dynamite's fourth side. Well. Uh, Chukwe Buka Valentine is his second goal in two straight games now for Dynamite Force. That goal, uh, he scored his first goal of the season against Newry United for the Vistos. And now his second goal for Dynamite Force. And so. He who comes in for this. Oloye who sends it in. And can VFC have their second goal? It's cleared. Cleared by Ogu Peace. And Emo Sokoro is stunned at what he thought had got into the back of the net. Look at that. Just rolled under him there. Let's see what comes out of this one. It's a corner kick taken quickly. Dynamite force. At the end of it, they would go for a counter. But the lawyer Nelson would not allow that to happen. Michael Nelson down! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen! That's up! Super sub! He's the one who has gotten the uh, the goal, the second goal for the Vistos in this encounter. He did it exactly, you know, in the second half, in the 60th minute against Newry United for the Vistos when they played at home in Edo State. And he has done it again in this game. Odumso Harrison. Well, we'll see about that. Not the scoreline expected at this fortress that VFC have built for themselves since the start of the season. Dynamite going again. This is incredible. Dynamite force man would go past you know over the net but there you have it unexpectedly you know unplanned unarranged it just gets to the back of the net well you see Shego Alabi of this match about that midfield formation and it will only the consistent player there but right about now it is what it is 
and of course nine minutes is a whole lot of time for the lions to pull back two goals and possibly go on to win this game but lolo is bringing in uh, so much experience of course so much calmness because it's not so easy to be you know in charge of your team when there are two goals behind you need to psych up your players they need that motivation right now and not to feel that all hope is lost and that was a good shot a good attempt there by Kola Wale Daniel right now from every area from outside the area you need to take your chances long shots long balls and all of that just catch the ball Evo Junior back to Uko Uko looking for the opening does he get it he's still with the ball Edoho now what does he do he sends it in it's cleared out the one employing time waiting tactics right now. <laughs> I wonder if the flag that belongs to Dynamite FC. <laughs> A yellow card issued to Evo Junior when clearly we see there that the flag was not being steady. We have no time to talk about the flag anymore because it is all over at the Agege Stadium, the Soccer Temple.